To the taggers, it might be considered artistic expression. To just about everyone else, it's an eyesore and an expensive problem to clean up. Graffiti has become a major issue on the Lower Mainland, where just about any surface has become a canvas for taggers. As Michelle Miller reports, a group of merchants in Carisdale has come up with a novel way of dealing with the graffiti artists in their neighborhood. Hi, Jeff. I just want to show you what happened to the truck here with the graffiti in that overnight. Jeff Noer can't believe what's happened to his plain white delivery truck. The upscale furniture store in Carisdale has been the target of taggers, young people who paint their tag or signature on public property. But recently, it's gotten a whole lot worse. I guess they're young enough that they realize that uh, the business people in this area are trying to make a living and uh, makes it almost impossible uh, when you're trying to present an image with your storefront or the rear of your store or a truck to, uh, to do business and, and create some sort of signage or image. The alleys and laneways in Carisdale are crammed with graffiti. Like most communities, businesses quickly paint over it. But taggers here don't even wait for the paint to dry before starting up again. That's where Providence Security comes in. They patrol the neighborhood 24 hours a day on the lookout for break-ins and vandalism. Cameras in hand, security guards snap photos of any new tags they spot. Most of these kids are doing it non-stop, so it's not uncommon to have 40, 50, 60, or 100 or more locations. There are so many tags in so many places, the security company had to build a database. Each photo is recorded. That way, even if the graffiti is painted over, there's a record of it. It's also important to point out that taggers have a unique signature that they use over and over. When a person is caught, they're not only responsible for that particular tag, but all their other tags as well. One of the more recent individuals that we caught was a 15-year-old. We had over 100 different locations that, uh, that we had taken photos of just in the Carisdale neighborhood. And that's not, it's not uncommon, and that's why if we're able to take even one tagger out, out of the neighborhood, it's a very noticeable difference. The community's novel approach to this problem goes one step further. They demand payment equal to the cost of the damage. They feel this way the punishment is more immediate than dragging the kids to civil court. But if the taggers won't pay, then they'll have to plead their case in front of a judge where all the evidence is stacked against them.